The Environmental Protection Agency lives up to its promise of year-round E15. The agency announced 12-month availability of fuel blends containing 15% ethanol before only blends up to 10% could be sold year-round. Despite the change, the American Petroleum Institute claimed the White House lacks the authority to lift that ban and that such a move should require an act of Congress. Well, joining us now with reaction is American Coalition for Ethanol CEO Brian Jennings. Brian, certainly a big day. Thanks for taking the time to chat with us. Uh, what are your thoughts on this long-awaited announcement? Well, Janet, it's a pleasure to join you today. Um, we're obviously thrilled that EPA has gone forward to issue this rule, um, upholding the, pr the president's promise to get this done in time for the, the peak summer driving season. This means consumers will have access to a fuel that costs less and is higher quality. It has more octane than other fuels available on the market that most cars can use. It means farmers and ethanol producers are potentially going to have access to greater markets as well for corn grind and ethanol use. Now, this won't be an overnight success. Uh, we will have to work with retailers and educate them on the, the uh, possibility to offer this fuel, but it's a very good day and an incredibly uh, high hurdle has now been cleared. Brian, as I just mentioned, and as you know, the petroleum industry has been uh arguing against this move. Have you heard from that side of the, the industry today? We've not heard directly from them, but we've seen the statements that the uh, oil companies have made that they intend to sue. EPA expected this, and that's why EPA did, um, I think, such a sound and thoughtful job on putting the legal analysis together. We expect this to end up in court, but we also expect EPA's decision um, to, to win the day. We think they did a, a, a responsible job legally on this, and we anticipate that EPA will prevail. And how long could that court battle possibly take? Any ideas? Well, they'll have, oil companies will have 60 days to sue. There will be multiple lawsuits, and I think these lawsuits will, um, they'll carry over a couple years from now. Okay, Brian, thank you. Now, before we wrap things up, uh, U.S. House of Representatives also introduced the Renewable Fuel Standard Integrity Act. Uh, give us some insight on that measure. Well, this is really important because while E15 is beneficial, EPA continues to mismanage the RFS. So this legislation, bipartisan legislation, would require EPA to reallocate volumes of small refinery exemptions. It would also require these refiners to file for these exemptions by June 1st of the preceding year of the RFS so we know what those uh, requests are. All right, Brian, as always, thank you very much for your insight. American Coalition for Ethanol CEO Brian Jennings on the phone with us today from Sioux Falls, South Dakota.